Welcome Embedded Engineers. This video is part of our tutorial series on developing web dashboards for embedded devices. In this episode, we'll show you how to add real-time updates to your device dashboard using WebSocket functionality. In each episode, we use a different development board to demonstrate that Mongoose works across a variety of hardware platforms. Today, we'll use the STM32H573DK development board. Plug the dev board into your workstation and visit mongoose.ws. Start a new design with the Mongoose Wizard, a visual dashboard builder. Select the target directory where the generated project will be stored and choose your target architecture. Choose Cube IDE and FreeRTOS. Click Next. Select the blank dashboard, click Next, then click Finish. We'll create two panels one with a display value and another with a gauge control. Both will update in real time. The display value updates every 50 milliseconds and the gauge updates every half second. These real time updates are sent by the device over the persistent WebSocket connection established by the dashboard. Let's get started. Click on the settings panel and enable WebSocket support. Add a container and place a panel inside. Change the panel's title Delete any unnecessary elements inside the panel, leaving only one text control. Set the API variable reference to websocket.value1. Adjust the font settings to make it more prominent. Center the text by modifying the container properties. The device will send JSON messages like this over the WebSocket. When the dashboard receives such a message, it automatically creates synthetic API variables websocket.foo and websocket.bar. So in our case, we expect the device to send a websocket message like value 1. And our text element should display that value. You can test this in the REST API tab. Type value 1 and click send websocket message. The text element should now display the value. Now clone the panel, change the title, Add a gauge and set its tick values from 0 to 100. This defines the display range. Set the API reference to websocket.value2. Test it again using the REST API tab. Click Generate Code. The wizard will now create a project in the selected directory. Open the generated project in the cube IDE. Start a serial console, build it and flash it to your device. At this point, we can see the dashboard served by our device, but the controls are not yet updating. We need to add WebSocket handlers to send the data. Open the wizard documentation and go to the WebSocket Updates section. It explains how WebSocket updates work and provides a code sample that installs two WebSocket timers, exactly what we need. Open the app freertos.c and copy the two handlers into it. Modify the first handler to generate a random value from 0 to 1000 and report it as value 1. Modify the second handler to generate a random value from 0 to 100 and report it as value 2. Call Mongoose add WS handler for both handlers. Use a 50 millisecond interval for the first one and 500 millisecond interval for the second. Rebuild and refresh the firmware. Now our dashboard shows these values updating in real time. Congratulations! You've learned how to implement real time updates using WebSockets. Hit like and subscribe if you found this useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.